Hey guys, this is gonna be a video um, about kind of, about like the care we should have for our Chinese water dragon. So for starters, you're gonna to want to have a good enclosure for them. Okay, I mean you don't want to have a wide open space as if it's like a open desert. That's more or less for a bearded dragon. Okay, so you know I have this and pretty packed. He loves it. And this is a bit more open with some sticks in his water dish. You need a water dish, okay? And if you can, have a water dish and moving water. Because he, they like to drink out of moving water, I tend to find. So, under here. He, I also have kind of like a little hut there built for him. Under there, it's all hollowed out and that. I grab sticks. You can go out and, you know, grab sticks from out, outside. But make sure you boil them because it'll kill all the parasites on the inside. You don't want them getting to your lizard and killing them. It'll be bad. Um, so you want that, like you want a lot of leaves because they like that because you know Chinese water dragon they like kind of forestry areas. Okay, and you want to keep it moist. You want the humidity up to like 70. So spray it daily. Okay, when you have a lizard like this, for starters, make sure you go out, get a UV light. Gives them great calcium, gets good for their bones, and helps them with their digestive system. You're going to want a heat lamp, light. The bigger the tank, the more water you're going to want. Okay? Now, when you feed your lizard, if, say if you give it crickets, don't just give it crickets. Put some calcium dust or something on it. Here's what it will look like right here. That's that kind of there. And this is the main calcium. Okay? I have two of these to be sure I don't run out of it. Alright? Okay, also as I said before, you're going to want to keep it humid in there. So, you just simply do that by going out, getting a spray bottle. Okay, you can get one like this, or you can go out and spend a bit more money and get a hand pump one where you just pump it up and then just spray it. It's a lot easier. Okay, just fill up water, simple as that. You know, it's not hard to do that for your lizard daily. You know, if you want to keep it healthy and happy. Okay, now for a ground substrate, what you can use is kind of like a brown wood chip with dirt. You can go to any local pet store and pretty much buy it. Okay, this is a large bag. Yeah. This is what it will look like. Yeah. That. If you can you can buy finer stuff, you can buy bigger chips, you know. And then for the dirt, you know, people tend to have problem with Eco Earth. Well, I've been using it ever since I've got my Chinese Water Dragon. I have not had a single problem with it whatsoever. You can go out and buy bricks of it. You just put it in a bucket like that right here. Okay. You set the dirt in there. You measure the water, put it in there, and it'll expand. This here, okay, there's the size of the bucket. And I've already used a bunch of this, and this is just one brick right here. Okay, for three bi three bricks, it is eight eighty nine where I come from. And that's Canadian money in Ontario. All right. Okay, say if you I don't know. Don't clean your water enough, right? You know, their lizard goes crap in it, you know, pee in it, say crickets drown in it, it starts to get bacteria and scum layered on it, right? Now your lizard might just so happen to go drink it or swim in it and get, you know, I don't know, disease or bacteria in it, right? And it gets sick. Say if it gets something like a, in fact, say an infection in the eye or 
something wrong with its snout and its cut or something, right? I actually got this from my girlfriend because she had a chameleon. This is, uh, can be used as fluckers. You can use it as um, eye drops. It is very high in calcium and it will, say if it has a cut, it will help the lizard heal a lot faster. Okay? Just like that, you know. You can uh, apply, you know, one or two drops to wherever the cut is or say if the eye is infected, you drop it in the eye. Okay? Just something to watch out for, that's all. Okay? And you can you can go and get extra stuff like um uh, water water drippers. I, they didn't they didn't work as well as I thought it was. You know, my girlfriend got it for me, so I really wanted one. I thought it'd be cool for it to be dripping. You know, and my lizard don't drink it, but it never really worked out, right? Well, I'll imagine everyone who gets a lizard is going to want a happy lizard, okay? Now, you don't want a pissed off lizard, right? So, number one thing, don't neglect it, okay? You know, I let my lizard out all the time. I, he has his own sleeping space up here. Yes, I know, I have a cat, a soft animal cat in there. I let him out every night, and he sleeps there every single night. It's his spot. I don't go in there and I don't take that cat out. It's his spot. So, when you get a lizard, don't neglect it, okay? You don't get a lizard to say, I'm cool, I got a lizard, okay? You don't just throw the crickets in there daily and just say, okay, it's fed, it's happy. No, it's not. You take it out every day. You take it out for, you know, half an hour to an hour or, you know, if, it, if it's happy being out, you keep it out as long as you like, okay? You don't neglect it. You play with it, okay? You know, you, we do what I do. I, I throw some crickets on the ground here, let them run around and chase my owl. I just I make sure that they don't get away, but I mean, you know, let them have some fun. You don't always have to confine them into being in a tank 24 7. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't like that. Okay, well, all together for the basic care. Your Chinese water dragon. Compare your tank or vivarian or whatever you have, say for example, to a rainforest, okay? You know, is there good substrate? Stuff for them to climb on? Is there water, you know, still water? Moving water back there, okay? Is it gonna have the same, you know, calcium from the light that it will have from the sun? The UV is gonna be warm and hot. The heat lamp, okay. Um, you know, is it gonna be is it fed properly? Is it gonna be happy, happy, happy in the environment it's in? All those things, okay. So I'll, I'll give you one last look at my Chinese water dragon if I can find my light. There's him in here. I would take him out, but I don't like going in there very much because I kind of give that space to him, you know. He is getting fairly big. He's probably about one of my best pets I've ever had. My parents love him. So does my girlfriend. Thank God. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks a lot.